Hi, it's Monty. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be um, sharing with you a couple projects that I have made using the Scrap Diva Designs April release dies. They are available now on the website. Um, here is Erica's information. If you want to purchase any of these, you can go to scrapdivadesigns.com. Everything will be linked below. All the dies, the website, my affiliate link, if you use that. Um, it shares a little bit of the sale with me, but it doesn't cost you any bit any more. And then I also have a coupon code for you to use. That saves you a little bit of money at checkout. It's Polka10. And all that will be listed below. Okay, I got three different dies that I've uh, worked with so far. And the first one is called Heart Gift Bag. Now I <laughs> I don't have the, the packaging as I've taken these out. I pretty much destroyed, uh, pull, I just pulled them all apart and uh, so. Anyway, <laughs> I'll try to explain to you um, the, the die set as I go along. So this is called the Heart Gift Bag. Super, super cute. Okay, it is about, let's see. It's about four and almost a half wide at the bottom. And then it's about uh, three and three quarters inches tall. It's super cute. Um, it has the heart that you can cut out. Um, and then, you know, frame it with this. I put some vellum back here. Um, I decorated mine really lightly just so you can see more I put a velcro on the flap and you can see inside I actually used the uh, die that has the heart cut out I used it twice so I used it on front and back so I have a thing front and back so but you can just use the plate there's a plain side also so really cute can hold quite a bit too so it's a cute little cute little die so I'm thinking it would be really cute with the, with the um, purse straps bundle that she just released too, to add on there to make it, you know, so have little straps on it would be a cute little, you know, purse looking bag also. So that's the first one. Um, next up is called, let's see, this one I didn't tear up too bad. This is called the swap bag envelope. Okay, so if you look on these new this new packaging that Erica has, which I love by the way, and I love the looks of the dies. The dies are turquoise, kind of a mint color. Love it. <laughs> so this is actually the um, piece right here. So you can see, um, which I like this because you can, if you're wondering what die set. <laughs> goes with what you know which dies go with which set this really helps you to see what all is available and then where it goes back <clears throat> when I'm creating I end up with piles and piles and piles of dies that are all just mixed together and then I have to remember which you know which set each of those pieces go to so this is very helpful I like this hope she continues doing this um, so you got your envelope piece this is like the backing piece and you got your you know gusset over here so it's gonna um, you know make it to be a pocket so you can put things in. You got some layering pieces. You got this banner piece. I love this banner piece. I've already used it on <clears throat> a couple different things. Well, I actually used it here. So I like that it's got the layering. So you got the base piece down here and then the top piece. So you can, you know, make it dimensional. I love that. So I've already used that on a couple different projects. Um, it's got this heart um, set and it, is made to fold so you could you know it'll fold up to be one heart it comes with the words happy mail love that it has a shadow piece with it here's the pocket part and these are all you know all these um, dotted lines are all um, layering pieces so I love that and love the scalloped edge okay so here's one I made I'm using um, Chasing Dreams from Maggie Holmes. I 
have seen a couple of videos or a couple posts from Larissa, um, October Avenue Crafts. I love her crafting and um, she started using it and it inspired me to get mine out. Um, I don't think I ever have used it. I don't have very much of it, like most of the sets. <laughs> I don't have very much of, but uh, you know, I use what I have. And um, so I use that on here. So you, I cut my base back here this white out of 110 and then there's a scallop layer I cut out of the um, light mint pattern paper and then here's the other layering piece see there's like three layers back here and so I use the butterfly okay and then down here I used I cut this pocket part out of the mint paper and then layered it with this uh, pattern paper this is a sticker from the collection I made a bow um, using the um, double loop bow. It's my favorite bow from Scrap Diva. Um, so I use that there. And this is just a sticker. I say I don't, I don't have any chipboard or ephemera or anything. <laughs> I don't have very much. I have stickers and uh, the thickers and paper and this, some of these. <laughs> Most of the stuff I got it Tuesday morning, you know, years ago, and it's the first time I've ever used it. So. Anyway, okay, and then here's this piece again, which I say I love Look at the dimension. I've got it up on foam, and then this is a cute little uh, flat back piece that I hauled from um, Timu. So I just thought I'd add that on there. So look at the room that you have inside there to, um, you know, fill up with goodies. I think I just love this. Very nice. Okay, so width wise, we are looking at. About four and a quarter and height we are at about one two three four five and a half so good size love that okay and then next <clears throat> this is actually the first the first um, one I played with because I immediately fell in love with it this is the um, mail truck mini album love it um i didn't bring oh this is one of the ones that got all tore up when i was tearing off the pieces but you get um the um pink here is 110 pound cardstock that's the base layer and then you get this other layering piece that's out of this pattern paper it's a little bit smaller you get a door you can use or not um this layering piece right here has the window cut out of it um, and then it has a frame piece. So I cut that out, pattern paper and out of foam. I used the door, I cut it out of paper and foam. I used the trim around the um, window again and out of foam and out of the paper. I made it a shaker. So there's a sh um, sequence inside there. They come with all the, there's two layers for the wheels. Um, you get this piece right here, which is a layering piece for the, like the front headlight. And then here's the rear um, headlight, uh, the rear, rear light. Um, it comes with, what else does it come? There's some other like little slots and stuff. And I think there's a word, is there a word? Let me look real quick. I have the thing right here. Let me see. <laughs> you could see it all tore up. <laughs> uh, sliding all over. It comes with, mail I think it's just mail is the only word that comes with it so you can see here there's the outline there's this one there's handles there's the door like I say I kind of tore mine all tore up when I peeling it off tires hearts a bunch of hearts so anyway very cute I love this my favorite it was my favorite uh, one when I saw it so that's why I decided to go with it first <laughs> So I have mine quite decorated, um, so it's kind of hard to see a little bit how, you know, the mail truck, but um, I love it. <laughs> I put flowers, I put flowers on the wheels that I made. This is the Scrap Diva uh, flower, it's the edge flower, it's my favorite one, of the ones that I have anyway. Um, and then um, Happy Mail is from another set, uh, la, 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 I can't remember which one but it's from another set from this release also. These are some of the um, capsella leaves that I love, I use all the time. 
tiny little flowers I made using a little punch I have and a um, little butterfly um, which one call it paper clip <laughs> this is in a pack that I had forever and it was on a big long silver one and I didn't like that so I took it apart and used some gold um, paper clips and redid them so I thought I would um, add it on to here the back is just plain oh I forgot I added a pocket from the um, uh, loaded pocket small I think it's a small no maybe it's the medium I think it's the medium. I used, I made a little pocket attached in the back and then I have a little goodie tucked down inside there. So, um, I'll go ahead and show you. This is, um, how I package this up. So I, I got some of these from Timu the other day. It's these little straps. Um, well, they're like, I, when I, in my video, I told you they're, they're like, for a necklace that you could hang like charms and stuff on uh, they're all tangled up but anyway it's like this and it comes with the chain it's got the you know the lobster clasp and stuff on it already so in my um, thought was when I saw it was that would be so cute to wrap around something to keep it closed so that's what I did I wrapped ar around to keep this closed and I um, attached some little flower charms onto here so I had those, you know, they were across the front, like this, just hanging. And this was wrapped around, so it would keep it closed. Love that. So anyway, my main, my, mine, uh, this first one I made anyway, is not a mini album, but it is. It is, it does flip up, and inside I have it full of flowers. Aren't these gorgeous? So all the bigger flowers are scrap deal flowers love it i just thought that was so cute so what a cute way to um you know make a little kind of an embellishment book make an embellishment i mean this could be a card very easily see it stands up i just made a little um uh, little piece i cut a piece i think it was an inch yeah i just took a one inch piece of cardstock and I scored it at a quarter and three quarters and then just folded it up and that gives me my space inside to put the flowers so I think that turned out really cute I love it so I kind of have it decorated <laughs> I mean you can't see the truck as well as maybe in some other ones but I just love how it turned out and then I love how it's housing the flowers <clears throat> so I put the I covered the top of it and I covered the bottom of it with pattern paper. <clears throat> and then I also cut it out of um, the bottom piece. <clears throat> Sorry, I almost brought wrong with my voice. I cut the bottom piece out of, um, uh, what do you call it, acetate also. And that's what I just put a tiny little drop of glue onto each of my flowers to keep them in place. Rather than having to put them in a bag or something. So, isn't it beautiful? I love it. So those are my first three projects. <clears throat> Let me know what you think. Are you guys, you guys have any favorites? Um, I don't know how many videos you've seen so far. This was kind of a, a little bit later release. Um, but they are live now on their website. So go check them out. Um, hopefully I inspired you to pick up and create with some of these fantastic dies. Um, again, everything will be listed down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will be back shortly with more. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.